How would you rate this pullover? Uh, I will press it. I will be the presser of the button. Starting the trip. For safety, we're recording video, but no audio. So this Let's one is it. like wobbly. Yeah. It's this cable here for some reason. Dude, this thing is just like literally a 3D printed or whatever thing just like zip tied into the seat, right? It's not like yeah. built it in. Yeah, but it's at least zip tied better on the other cars. I don't know. Jeez. Um, well, you can pull the zip tie ends. And then this is an iPhone. That's what Dalen just told me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is the end of the zip tie right here. So this one has more of the screen exposed. Huh. There's a small steering wheel icon in the app that they're running. Wow. I think, so the, there used to be an iPhone on the dash Yeah. Uh, that always display the time and some, the cars that don't have it up there have it here. So I think it might be the same phone. Well, that was like a driver monitoring system. Right, and this is right. like a passenger feet monitoring system. Yes, very good. It is kind of confusing though. I wonder why they have it. Yeah. I would be amused if the answer was just like, they just needed to store it with the car and this is like the safest <laughs> way to store it. That would be pretty funny. Passenger airbag off. Oh, that's for the front. Not for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I haven't taken driverless Waymo in, in the city yet. It'd be cool to, to try that. Actually, no, I haven't taken a driver in the at all. Now I think about it. Hmm. Have you guys? No. Hmm. We Came. know some people, though. Yeah. We can... You have to be, like, an employee to do it, or, like... There's a very limited public beta. So, yeah. like, you, you start to see some videos online. Yeah. Um, but it's very small scale right now. They don't have a lot of vehicles. Um, doesn't seem like they have a lot of customers, either. I see. Yeah, like the public beta in general, just like, I, I don't think I know anyone who has the app. So, mm. Or like has gotten off the wait list or whatever. It is. Yeah. I know one person, and I I've been trying to schedule this person to... Um, so, yeah, he's taken a lot of rides, and he knows... He, he's found some interesting cases in parking lots. Mm. Um, he also found how you can get dropped off outside the geofence if you pick certain routes. So <laughs> the car drives out of the geofence and then you just have to hit the pullover button. Wow. Um, That's pretty advanced. Hacking the system. That's who they need to hire. <laughs> yeah. The self-driving equivalent of the 270K prompt engineer. Mm. <laughs> so Cruise just turned on its right turn signal for a second. Huh. Now it's off. Well, they really need to fix that. Be sure to keep your hands and arms inside the car. Oh, interesting. I've never heard that prompt before. Yeah, it's. I think it's to avoid the... the safe stop. Uh, yeah. yeah, obstacles getting created. Future, yeah. The car's driving itself. That's cool. I just need to figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> there was actually a lot of traffic, um, like on Oak Street and stuff, when I was driving over to your place. Yeah. But it, you know, between like ten ten and ten forty, it cleared out uh, almost completely. I was getting excited. I thought we were gonna have like. Um, you know, some heavy traffic and yeah, yeah. The heavy traffic isn't that exciting. You're just like stop, go, stop, go, right? That's true. Yeah, I, I guess some of the roads here, like the lanes, aren't that wide. Yeah. Um, I feel like the most interesting thing here is like bikers and pedestrians. But yeah, that's like definitely Mission Chinatown type area. 
Yeah, there was one night where I just routed up and down Diviz, and that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, there was a person crawling in the street, and uh, crews detected them, so. Hmm. Like, lying down? Hmm. Uh, they were on all fours. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. Were they just, like, crawling out from the sidewalk into the road, or, like? From the sidewalk, oh. yeah. yeah. I worked on that functionality. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> Six months of my life. All right. So are the neuro like uh, vehicles? Are they making money now, or are they like still testing, or what's the deal? They they're making a non-zero amount of money. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. It's like necessarily safe unless I have like a chase driver behind me, right? Ooh, oh, that was that's a, a jiggle. That was a nudge for the post office, I guess. Posted trunk. Are they like, like chase car driving or like are they just like straight, just the vehicle? Uh, that's yeah, cool. just the vehicle. Um, cool. The chase car has been removed. Nice. The dream. Well, this it is the dream. The same road we were on coming in, so. We gotta figure out what food to get for the next one. We already did Peruvian and Hong Kong, so we're gonna like have to get Mexican or something. You gotta pick the furthest point on the map from both of those locations. Sounds good to me. Yeah, where is it operating? In like Houston or something? Yeah, Houston mostly. Houston has good Vietnamese food. Yeah. So. Well, why is that car pulling over? Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, actually, that's probably a pullover yeah. or something. There's nobody inside. Well, every other car is a cruise car. Yeah. yeah. I think whatever routing they have tends to funnel the cars to a few places. Yeah. Remember that like news article with all those like Waymo cars or three point turns in this one cul de sac? It's like probably the same thing, right? Yeah. That's around here, right? The no. I thought that was in a South SF or something. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Yep. Going by our favorite street, St. Mary's Medical Center. Fifteen down this hill. That's the good part about sitting in the middle seat is you can tell what's going on in front of you. That is true. I think it's interesting that all of like the cars initially, the tablet views had like the the three sixty degree perception view, mm -hmm. and they've all just like done away with it. It's just like too anxiety inducing for people. I think. Oh yeah, well Kyle hates it, right? Like yeah. he. He, he's always pushing back on Twitter. Yeah. But I think there are other, like the Waymo UX people always say, oh, you know, like we, we want people to feel confident that the car yeah. knows what it's doing. The problem is that like whenever you start showing those visualizations, there's always some like car that's like jiggling or something that's misclassified as like something else. So it feels like it's like a intermediate stage of trust. Yeah, sure, so. sure, yeah. cruise cars out here hopefully the supply is better now we've yeah. seen so many empty ones okay so it's just gonna take us down this neighborhood street forever and then we go into this um, we do go on 
to Viz for a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if I can. Hmm. I wonder if I can get it to go on Oak Street. Are you guys interested in a in a detour? Eh. I mean, I think Deviz is interesting. Oak and Deviz Oak, is busier. Deviz has like bars. It's like wherever there are bars, there's more people at night. Yeah. It's like Deviz, Polk, Mission. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep the current route. Marina, I guess. We're not on Deviz for that long, though. Yeah. No. Um, the stops are very complete. <laughs> right. Oh, there's a cop. We're getting passed by this cop. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, that's Dang. good. At a stop sign, the too. police. Yeah. They don't even turn on his sirens. Um, I mean, well, he probably... They probably know that if they turn on the lights, then... It'll pull over. The <laughs> car will pull over. Yeah. Yeah. But... It, the cruise handles pretty smoothly, although I guess when you're going that slow, it's yeah, uh, it's hard to. I, I'm just like a little miffed by this whole like creep stop creep stop behavior. It's just like really annoying. Yeah, like it happens at like stop signs. And yeah, like traffic lights too. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's just. You know, you can't allow your behavior engineers to have any thresholds in their system. Oh. Everything has to be a continuous function. No, like, yeah. discontinuities My, or... I think there was, like, a system I remember that was, like, basically you have, like, the actual geometry of objects and then you have, like, a buffer area around it. Yeah. And you basically have to vary the buffer according to your own speed. Uh -huh. Because if you're at, like, you know, low speed, you want to be able to, like, squeeze in between cars in, like, a narrow alleyway. But if you're at high speed, you definitely don't want to, like, thread the needle. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what's happening. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, that's one example. That padding should be, like, a continuous function in yeah. your planner cost. You don't think it's but just, like, I think, shaky perception? Yeah, yeah so I even if there's, so. if there's shaky perception... Like, I don't know if you, you need to have something where if you're like ACC to the car in front of you, right, then, and you're stopped, then the car needs to move more in front of you uh, before you start moving again. Yeah. Right? Like there has to be hysteresis. I, I think if it was shaky perception, it would manifest in so many other really shitty ways because like... Think about how much we creep. We creep like 50 centimeters, right? If there was 50 centimeters of perception error on every object, like, you couldn't fucking drive, right? I don't know. That's possible. Uh, well, yeah, maybe not 50 centimeters, but... Um, there was the right turn where uh, it kind of jerked the wheel, probably because of yeah. perception noise on the yeah. truck. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, we're at a standoff, I guess, or we're, we haven't, we, we feel like we haven't reached the stop line. Also, it's with another cruise car. Oh, that so. cruise car is getting stuck in the middle of a turn. Hmm. Um, all right, here's DeViz. This is where the fun begins. Yeah, so you see on the left side, that's where usually there's exciting stuff because like uh, Emporium is over there. Mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. usually a lot of people like loitering outside. We can try to do a left turn. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, unable to connect. Uh, can I do this quickly enough? No. <laughs> All right, didn't Heading make to it. New destination. Well, this is gonna skip Emporium, so it's fine. <sighs> no, I can. Oh no, it keeps on picking easy routes. <laughs> That's I mean, what the router is supposed to do. I wonder why. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, well we're gonna let it. Let me queue up the destination change. You know, this is fine. Let's just go to the original destination. Wow. I give up. Heading to new destination. 
Oh, it's gonna go on Oak Street for a bit. Well, now it has to, it has it? to get over. Mm, oh, the, the app just, now. okay. The app just changed back. The app told you Oak Street. Yeah, the app and the car are not always on the same page about which route. You think the app is telling you like a default route before it actually communicates with the car? Yeah, I think they have. It does, it seems to be a very similar routing algorithm, but um, not always exactly the same. Mm. <sighs> the other thing is the car's routes sometimes flicker as well. Yeah. Um, All right, we got to pull out, but they're too far ahead of us to be interesting. When are the unprotected rights coming? I know, right? It's not. <laughs> I, I guarantee you, it's at like the bottom of the list part right No. Really? Right on red? Yeah. It's like very but annoying to people, right? It's really annoying, but like, it's not the thing that's getting the cars stuck all the time, which means it's immediate, like, deprioritization. Mm. I, I mean, I guess, but... It just adds risk. It does add risk, but also it's like pretty bad for like... Like, it's pretty bad for trip times. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think people care about trip times right now. I feel like the like order of priorities was like make it safe, sure, and then make sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere, sure, and then figure out why anyone would want to call this over like a human car. 